This is KCTV English News. I'm Hyung Shim. The Provincial Council has proposed an ordinance to preserve and manage the birthplaces of Korean independence activists in response to KCTV's report on the poorly managed sites. Provincial Councilor Hyun Gil Ho proposed a bill to pay tribute to the historical significance of the local independence movement and preserve the historical sites in Jeju. The bill stipulates that the governor should preserve and manage the historical landmarks and birthplaces of independence activists. It also mandates the governor to carry out projects to excavate historical sites and promote them to the public for educational purposes. In particular, the bill provides legal ground for the province to fund corporations and organizations to conduct projects to preserve and manage historical sites. The local prosecutor's office appealed against the Gwangju High Court's recent ruling to overturn the original verdict and acquit two public officials that were charged for releasing false information under the Public Official Election Act. The two were charged for spreading false information about JDC Chairman Moon Dae-lim, who was running against Governor Won Hee-ryong for the last local elections. They had made comments that Moon played golf right after the candidate election and released them to the press while they were in Won's camp. Judge Lee Jae-won previously stated in his ruling that the informant's testimony about Moon Dae-lim at the time was very reliable and that it cannot be determined whether the offenders purposely released false information. Although the number of tourists visiting Jeju has been decreasing, it is estimated that the amount of tourism income has increased, exceeding 6 trillion won for the first time. According to the 2018 Jeju Tourism Trend Annual Report published by the Jeju Tourism Organization, the preliminary value of last year's local tourism income was 6.54 trillion won. 4 trillion won came from domestic spendings and 2.5 trillion won from foreigners. This is an increase of 840 billion won from 5.7 trillion won in 2017. However, the total number of both domestic and foreign tourists continued to drop from 15.85 million in 2016 to 14.75 million in 2017 and 14.31 million last year. JTO believes that the increase in tourism income has been caused by the change in travel patterns due to the increasing proportion of individual travelers among domestic and foreign tourists. Next year's contract price of locally produced garlic has been set at 2,501 per kilogram. This is 501 lower than this year's price at 3,001. The local garlic cooperatives, comprised of representatives of National Agricultural Cooperative Federation in Jeju, held a meeting and set the next year's local garlic contract price at 2,501 per kilogram. This is lower than what local farmers wanted at 3,201 per kilogram. Local Agricultural Federation's representatives said that they cannot set the price higher due to the current management crisis and the remaining reserves in their storage. The final purchase price of local garlic will be determined next May. The province will push ahead with the construction and maintenance projects of local fishing ports. The province will begin seven projects, including constructing new fishing ports, remodeling idle fishing ports, and creating a marine theme park in Gangjeong Port earlier than planned. Officials will order for design services this month and start construction during the first half of next year. The province plans to execute more than 60 percent of the total budget at 13 billion won during the first half of next year. This week on Jeju A to Z, Todd Thacker takes a quick look at an ongoing light and sound exhibition from France that opened in Jeju last year. It is currently featuring the works of Van Gogh. A very popular art exhibition that uses light and sound to give new insights into classic works of art is putting another great painter in the spotlight. This time it's Dutch post-impressionist Vincent Van Gogh. The exhibition is titled Bunker de Lumière. On offer is a colorful, creative mix of images and music, the likes of which you've probably never seen. It is located in a disused communications facility and bunker on the east side of the island that has been transformed into an amazing art space. The exhibition uses 100 projectors and surround sound to animate Van Gogh's imagery. 
Many of his most famous pictures are presented, but you can also take a virtual stroll through the forests and fields captured by his brilliant brush. Artists and art critics have hailed this exhibition as truly something special. Even if you're familiar with Van Gogh's work, there's a good chance you'll come away with a new appreciation for his contribution to world art. Visitors to the Bunker de Lumière are encouraged to expect the unexpected. This next iteration of the exhibition, which is slated to run through October 2020, seems set to solidify its popularity for another year. Todd Thacker, KCTV. Enjoy a unique and modern take on the works of Van Gogh at the Bunger de Lumiere. Pick some fruit, bright horses, feed farm animals and more at Trinity Natural Park's Camellia Festival. Enjoy a digital art exhibition of a fairy tale. Korean and international movies are being screened for free at 3 p.m. Tuesday through Saturday at the Jeju Movie Culture and Arts Center in Tapdong. The popular comedic performance of the Jeju Nanta Company is staged daily at 5 p.m. at the Nanta Theater in Jeju City. Taking a look at our weather, skies will be very cloudy throughout Thursday. For more details, here's your forecast. The morning low in Jeju City will be 8 and the afternoon high will be 10 degrees. Down south in Togipu, we expect a low at 6 in the morning and a high at 13 in the afternoon. Over in Songsan, the temperatures will be 5 in the morning, warming up to 10 degrees. Across the island in Kusan, we expect a low of 8 and a high of 10 degrees. And up on the mountain at Songpanak, we'll hit a low of 0, topping off at 5 degrees. Out on the water, winds will be out of the northwest and north at a speed of 8 to 14 meters per second with seas between 1 and 3 meters. And here's a look at the extended forecast. That's it for today's KCTV English News. Make sure you follow us on YouTube at KCTV e News Jeju and on KCTV's Beauty Service. Please take care.